I'm at the point with DK Oldies where I have to just believe that this is a PR stunt. I, I, I can't, I just can't fathom it being anything else. I have nothing else clever to say for the intro. Let's get into it. Ah, <sighs> my butt cheeks. Lick them. Skip it up and that up. Hi, Joey. Over at DKLDs, it's Richard Review Tech USA, and uh, we released a video. What is today? Uh, whatever. <laughs> we released a video a couple days ago. You should go check out where it was the third. And I want to say final time, but the last time I said something was final was with Quantum TV and how did that work out? Hand jobs all around. But I don't want to say that about DK Oldies because it seems like the saga is going to continue with them. Now, I've talked about how they had a video about, a, oh, it's a week ago now, called DK Oldies Refurbishes Their Consoles. And, uh... It's interesting because that was right around the time when I, I posted, I believe, the PlayStation 2 uh, refurbished, which it wasn't refurbished, by DK Oldies and Jacob Barra were just released a video. So it was kind of like they were doing this to damage control and for algorithm fodder in hopes that it would kind of negate the viewership of our videos. It, YouTube's weird and it could kind of sort of work like that allegedly um so all right so i already did a video on this but then jacob r shout out to him i'll have a link to his youtube video below in the description notice something interesting about that exact dk oldies refurbishes their consoles video where they were replying and also deleting comments um, the comments are deleted, so I got them from Jacob R's video. So let's take a look at them and see what was being said and what their replies were and what they magically deleted because they didn't want you seeing it. Well, here is the first comment, which they are leaving this one up where it says, this isn't taking accountability. This is deflecting criticism vaguely, which he's 100% right. Surprised they left that comment up. It's now at 1.7 thousand likes, so okay. Now, this comment was deleted by Tyler over here. He goes, do you guys have any response to the multiple YouTubers claiming they bought your hardware and it wasn't cleaned or refurbished? I did buy their hardware, by the way. I just want to make it 150% abundantly clear. The hardware that I got was absolutely from DK Oldies. I showed the shipping label. I think the first one for the Nintendo I showed too much, but oh well. Anyway, uh, this was their reply. With the huge amount of orders that ship out each day, occasionally a mistake slips by. Three mistakes in a row for me and I think five in a row for Jacob Barr. Really? <laughs> Oh, it just, it just so happened that the eight different consoles that Jacob and I got a total were all defective. We all, all had issues. Imagine that, man. We, we must have been unlucky. I'm sure every other console that Joey ships out with this stupid smile on his face, I am sure that they are going out in perfect condition or at least refurbished. I'm not expecting perfect from refurbished, actually. I'm expecting it to be clean. Even if there's flaws and scratches and stuff, I'm still expected to be clean and I'm spec expecting it to be refurbished. If there is caps or capacitors that look like they're swelling and you replace those, if there's a disk drive like on my PS2 that sounds like it was grinding towards the end, yes, I expect that to be fixed. Those are, those are, that's what refurbishing is. And you did that with none of our consoles, none. None. And, and someone replied back again. This comment is, is gone. Occasionally, uh, someone replied, lazy shadow puts in quotes. Edit. This is still no excuse to ship products that don't even function just because they weren't refurbished. It's your responsibility to do what you advertised, not the customers. We're people too. Stop sending us garbage and instead give us what we paid for. Thank you. Thank you. That's what the problem is with you, DK Oldies. You're telling people that you refurbish all of the consoles, all of them. There's another comment here, okay? And you're not even touching them. That is that you are. That's the you're saying. Hey, we could charge a premium because we clean the consoles, which is a lot of work to do. Okay, 
You could still think it's overpriced. I kind of argue that it is too, but fine. If you were really doing what you said you were doing in the videos and really refurbishing them, that's on the customer at that point. It's like, hey, they're doing what they say on the tin. They are refurbishing it. It's super expensive, but I'm happy with what I paid for. But you're not. You're not doing it. You're literally lying to the customer about the product that you were giving them. And that's what we have a problem with because you were not refurb. You're not even touching these consoles. Now, this one's being blocked by Jacob Barr, but this was a scenario where something needed to be repaired. Are all consoles being refurbished or taken care of? And he, DK Oldies responds back with, you see the check mark there. Yes, all consoles are opened and cleaned. Did you see mine? Did you see Jacob's? Were they all opened and clean? They weren't even touched. This is where the problem is. They're, they're not, it's not that they're just selling them at high prices. They're scamming people and saying they're cleaning them and refurbishing them and fixing them when they are not. They are not. And they're pissed off now because people who have some technical skill are calling him out on it. When it was just... The soccer moms, I guess that's considered offensive now, but I don't care. When the soccer moms were just buying them, oh my God, I remember playing the Super Mario's back in 1986 when even I, I had a mullet. Women had mullets. That's what they were expecting. And they're like, oh, I would love if, you know, or a guy who stopped playing video games back in 1996, he's like, oh man, I remember playing the PS1 or playing the Super Nintendo. I'd love to play that again with my kid. Get, a, get an analog Super NT, by the way, before they stop selling them. Um, they don't know anything about tech. They don't know anything about opening up and what issues could be inside. So they go buy this overpriced refurbished console from DK Oldies thinking that it's actually refurbished. And they're just selling them junk in the same exact form. They got it from some flea market or they got wholesale from somewhere it, buying them in bulk broken and they're like ah if it works so we'll just flip it sell it for double or triple the price and then we'll put a sticker on the bottom making it like we're unscrewing the console and doing something and these idiots won't know that's what they're thinking that and it's gross it's absolutely disgusting and i'm so glad that the youtube community who actually would take the time to open these consoles are exposing these frauds for being frauds and again, someone asked them, how much refurbishing is done if it does read a disc? Do you open them up at all? At those prices, I'd hope folks aren't getting a wee full of cat hair because it was only wiped down and called refurbished. And DK Oldies doubles down and says again, yes, all consoles are opened and cleaned. They're just full mask off at this point. They're just flat out, flat out lying. They're not even trying to hide it. And they deleted a lot of these comments too. And I'm so glad Jacob Barr got them. I hope people are getting now what the point of this is. It's a company literally lying to the consumer and getting away with it and being able to charge exorbitant prices for something they're flat out not doing. It's like if I, I was said this on a lot, my live stream yesterday, it was like if I offered a car detailing service, I took 300, 400 bucks from you and you get your truck back and it's just as dirty. And you were like, you didn't clean this thing. You didn't do anything. And I'm like, yeah, I did. And you're like, oh, okay, I guess, I guess you did. And just walk away <laughs> and I get to keep your money. That's essentially what's happening right now at DK Oldies. They are ripping people off, telling them they're doing a service that they are flat out not doing. They could sell it. They could sell their consoles for whatever the hell they want to. And if people buy them, people buy them. But when you sell them on lies, that's a completely different ball field and they need to be called out for it and held accountable for it. And they're just not doing it. They're damage controlling and deflecting and hiding criticism and being untruthful, lying flat out. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.